At the law offices of William McCaskill Attorneys assist injury victims in receiving financial compensation for the emotional, physical, and psychological damage caused by serious accidents or injury. Here with more about the law office's personal injury lawyer, William McCaskill. Welcome. Now, people always joke about lawyers, that they're yes. not the nicest of people, but you're a great guy and you're I'm trying to help nice people, guy. right? I like to help people. I help people who are injured um, through no fault of their own. I help them recover their medical bills, their lost wages, um, anything else that they're entitled to as a result of being an innocent victim of uh, medical malpractice or some auto accident. So what type of cases are we talking about? The majority of the cases are auto accident, car crashes, when people don't follow the rules. And of course, you've run a red light, run into someone mm -hmm. and cause a collision. Um, I represent a lot of those type of, of people. I represent people who harmed um, as a result of medical negligence. Um, I even have some dog bite cases with, uh, wow. which are very interesting. Um, so it's a, it's a, it's a um, broad array of cases that I represent victims and who are injured as a result of someone else's um, negligence. How do we know if we are a victim of something that that was negligence or if it was just, you know, an accident? What's, what's the difference? Well, the difference is with negligence that there, there are rules, um, there are laws mm -hmm. um, that are designed to protect everyone and ensure everyone's safety. When those laws and rules are broken, um, people get hurt. Um, that's the difference between um, negligence and just a mere accident. So when someone does not follow the rules and, and they hurt someone else, um, we have to hold those people accountable. So not just bad driving, it's, not it's just when you're... Not just bad driving. Yeah. It's, th there are rules to the road. Um, I think that you can't text and drive, that's mm -hmm. being discouraged. Things of that nature that keep people um, um, attention focus on the roadway and, and ensure everyone else's, else's safety. Um, those are the things um, when you when you don't do what you're supposed to do and, and people end up getting hurt and then I end up getting involved. Right. Is there a statute of limitations when it comes to these accidents? Is it, you know, 30 days or, you know, you've had an accident and then suddenly your back starts hurting? What What's the time frame on these things? The time frame is in Maryland, the statute of limitations is three years from the date of the accident. Wow. Um, where you have to file a claim um, in court. In the District of Columbia, it's also three years mm -hmm. um, to file a claim um, against the person that caused the injury. So DMV area or just Maryland and D.C. you're, you're able to practice? I help, I help people um, in Maryland and D.C. Okay. Um, I'm not licensed in Virginia, right. um, but I believe the statute of limitations in Virginia is two years okay. from the date of the accident. So tell, tell me more about this dog bite. I mean, so what, what's the case? Some, somebody... Well, um, the case is... Make it like law and order for me. Tell law me. and order. <laughs> All right. Well, you have a very sweet dog um, who is not being properly taken care of. Mm -hmm. And... That, that dog got angry, he had gotten loose, mm -hmm. and he hadn't went out and bit someone one time. Mm -hmm. um, and the person that, the, the first person he bit didn't really make a big deal of it. Uh, but the second person came by a little while later, he bit that person also. Right. So now we have a problem um, that the owner should have corrected right. prior to this, this dog bite case. And someone was injured, and, and we're making sure that they're being compensated for uh, the medical treatment that they had to undergo and, and the lost time from work. But it's a very interesting case. Yeah. I'm sure you see a myriad of different things in different situations, and you have to be so well-versed in, in all of the angles. Tell me about when you're dealing with insurance companies. Can I trust an insurance company to have my best interest at heart? Um, short answer is no. These are, there are two things you have to understand about an insurance company. Their, their first interest is in protecting their insured. Mm -hmm. um, they're not in, in the business of protecting you, the victim. Mm -hmm. um, the second thing you have to understand about insurance companies is that they're, they're business. Right. Um, I know I sort of in my mind thought when I said my best interest at heart, they're a company. They, they're they don't a company. have a heart. They don't, <laughs> at, the, at the Christmas party, they're not handing out um, bonuses for the, the agent who gave away the most money that year. Um, so their interest lies in making money for their shareholders and their partners. So um, the short answer is no, I would not trust the insurance company. Um, I would call a lawyer and the beauty about lawyers like myself, personal injury lawyers, is we don't charge anything oh. unless we recover for our clients. So a call, a free consultation, that's, that's where you can call and get all the answers that you want. Excellent. So where can people call and find out more? People can call me at 240-724-4494. And they can also see me on the web at www.pgcountyinjury.com. Thank you, William McCaskill. I'll drive safely today. Uh, I, and I will as well. <laughs> Great. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you. More Let's Talk Lives coming up. Stick with us right here.